up short here for mortals and they're getting aggressive the paranoia doesn't quite work out and now as they start to push forward jc steady has got to reload the clip but steve will take him down it's traded out by neptune and now a 3v2 retake for luminosity as the b-side anchors are coming late to the party spike planted yeah they've shown up but at this point the spike has been planted a proto working his way through pipes interesting to see that immortals did not work their way through that and establish themselves through that choke point. That's a, a heavily contested area of the map. We'll keep a close eye on that as the, as the map goes on. Right away, we take care of Shanks, goes in for the second, and it's Neptune who gives him the business up close and personal. Just one left, oh. it's Mata. He's able to get one, looking for the second. Gonna get tagged up, tagged back. And now it's Mata who's actually on the hunt. He's trying oh. to hunt people down, but he's buying time. Neptune? Neptune? He doesn't believe it. He's just sticking it. Swing. Oh, he goes around. Yes. He gets the kill. A 3K. The offensive side. We're seeing something similar again, and it's just once again going to be that heavy A hit. They have to worry about the 50 on the right. Oh, Prado's going to find him. And another lined up shot. There's one more player in the shower. Say Prado. The wall no. crosshairs working out. Has to reload the clip. Shanks will take him down, but Stellar icing on the yeah. cake will take out Shanks. Anyone out there? You see Immortals going a bit aggressively. Gangsta with the Hunter's Fury trying to clear some room as Shanks drops. The spike is going to oh, begin the flank. to be planted. Yeah, spike close planted. eye on that flank, folks. He's going to make his way over. Will he be able to get there in time, however? And will it be left unchecked? Thief? Exactly. Doing just that. Yeah, he oh. sucker punches. Jamo is able to get one in a second on a gangster. But JC Stanny with three keeps it interesting. Luminosity, however, managed. Allow KZ to get into a good position. The boom bot to clear things out. Paranoia as well to follow out. We'll see if KZ can get out. He cannot. That's the blade storm gone. And now Shanks will lead the charge from the hookah side. The rest of the team need to get onto the site. The spray through the smoke. Stellar lands those classic shots. Mata answers back from the tuna can. Now it's down to the 3v3. There's going to be the showstop coming in for Thief. He's going to try to clear out Hookah, but they back away and the portal's been called. So now LG, remember Strong, will retake from the defender's spot. Drone. Yeah, Gangsta is going to be the first one there and the spike is going to follow shortly after. First place, you see him check his pipes. Again, a very important area of the map uh, to control, especially towards this A side. Uh, Neptune hanging out in New Hall. Nothing doing quite yet. You see members of Luminosity all have finally started to show up. No cheeky flank to keep in mind this time. From Thief or anything like that, they're all going to be coming in from the same side. Heaven and a Proto uh, coming in from the pipes. The smokes are going to be coming out through showers. Neptune's able to get one as a Proto drops. One Last enemy remaining. Standing. Thief answers back. It's trade for trade. All down to Thief. Three fires, one HP. Has one, but there's Shock Darts, and there's a Hunter's Free. One tag is all he needs. There's the Diffuse, at least tries to. But he doesn't have a lot of time to the Cubby. How much value can Stellar get here? As the Owl Drone does squat him out, he's going to try to push forward. Not going to work out while the rest of the team will start to wrap around. No, no Vision Striker shenanigans this time around. Immortals are just going to work their way in. A Proto is going to be flashed off. Oh, and he's getting pushed up from both sides. He is able to get one, but Neptune trades it out. The spike has been planted as the Neural Theft is going to give away everything. Gangsta drops as well. It looked dicey, but so far, Immortals hold fast yet for the rest of the round. See the push in. We're going to have the Tailwind from the Octagon side. Showstopper from the Hookah side. It's Decimation. Gangsta gonna find two. They at least answer back temporarily. There's a player on site and the Blade Storm will find him, not the Showstopper. Down to the 2v3 retake. Doable for LG. Now it's a 2v2, but both duelists are left. And guess what? Oh. See you later. I'm gonna portal all the way to the A side. Shanks has to be careful. Shot's gonna be good. And now it's a 1v2. I like this from LG. Now that you've got a shot. Spike going down. 1v2. Can JMO do it? Planted. Mentioned he has the Blade Storm. Keep a close eye on that. Oh, no. Oh, the timing. Unfortunate for JMO. Estella's just able to take care of him. He had the chance to do something there, just wasn't able to get to safety in time. Luminosity are able to stop him. Uh, but now Luminosity is still very confused where Immortals are. We understand that it's going to be the A short push now as the shots come through and misses the Paranoia to try to help out. Hunter's Fury to layer that on top. But they might just hop into the portal. Oh, oh Neptune, crispy shot onto KZ. But it still ends up left. down to a 3v3 retake. Hunter Fury is going to be used by Mata in response as the spike goes down. He was able to get JC Staney, but just a hair too late. The spike has been planted. As you see, members of Immortal start to assume their post plants. Neptune drops. It's just going to be down to Gangsta. He has plenty of health, plenty of armor to work with. 
but he's got to find a way to get past the defenses. Mata takes care of Gangsta. They're going to get the defuse. Luminosity are starting to work their way toward for a teleplay at the very end. Typically, you'll see teams have some info by A, uh -oh. but not the case this time. This is certainly where they're going to want to go. A Proto is able to take care of Neptune early on wow. as the rest of Luminosity funnel onto the map. Immortals is now going to be showing up, but they're all going to be coming in from one side. Furthermore, Luminosity have aggressively taken that elbow control so they can anchor onto that. They are going to back off, however, and give Immortals a bit more room to work with. They're all going to be coming in from that elbow side. Some of the members will double back and go through the standard choke point. Gangsta has got a tall task here with Shanks. they got to make sure they clear all the possible angles. Boombot's definitely going to hurt for Luminosity here, but they've already started off hot. Now the push starts to come through. It's traded one after another, but Luminosity are falling apart at the seams. It's all down to Aproto. Tries to get that classic burst to work out for him. It does not. You know, to fend off this B push if they decide to go that way. The smoke is going to come out to keep the spawn area uh -oh. blind. Neptune and Aproto are able to get a kill apiece. I and now exactly. Immortals are starting to come over this way. They still have some presence though. The neural theft has been used as Gangsta is able, able to take care of Hazy Mata. Still kind of looking around. This has just been so patient from Immortals. Spikes being planted. Spike planted. Edwick used to clear out the elbow. But it's a 3v4 retake for Immortals. Hunter's Fury as well can be used to try to clear out any specific angles, and that's exactly what we're seeing. But he's paranoid, does finally end up getting tagged by him. This one, remember, and he tags him too, JC Stanny. Not even a retake happened for Immortals. They're going to fight for the site on their eco. Again, Luminosity pack a heavier punch, and they have plenty of ultimates to work with as well. If Immortals can somehow pull this off, uh, it's going to require Herculean effort. <laughs> LG creeping their way forward. There's a smoke that's going to be coming out from Hype. Steve goes in. He's paranoid, left. but it doesn't matter as he continues to play aggressively on d d dancing wow. with Gangsta. Gangsta finally Last drops. Neptune remaining. does as well. Immortals just down to one. I mentioned it would require some sort of... Much like we saw a couple of rounds ago, they've left Gangsta alone over by B and head best heavily towards A. And fortunately for them, that's where the push is coming from. You hear a couple of hundred viewers trades out as Gangsta is able to get one. But LG with the guns are able to take care of businesses. They get three. Gangsta still alive through all this as Immortals is just down to two members left. The spike is going to go down. Shank's still holding down this U-Haul area. They've got a chance. One enemy remaining. It's all down to Shanks. The newest addition to Immortals to keep information out of Hookah. There's the showstopper. Goes a bit wide, but the guns from Thief are exactly what the doctor ordered. Mod is able to get one as well. Thief goes in aggressively, able to take care of Jamo. Swings, but Gangsta is on the other side of the smoke and drops him. Immortals down to two members left as Luminosity managed to get the spike down. Gangsta from a less than ideal position. But the nice thing, if there is a silver lining here, is that Immortals was pushing in from two fronts. But Luminosity, again, are able to... Hey, this is, this is still going to be difficult for Immortals to keep up. Careful. I like this position from Neptune. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got to get out of there, though. He's in a little bit of trouble. The team's coming in from behind. Gangsta. And now we're also seeing the wraparound from Shanks. Mata's got a good spot. Oh, but the Bucky chips him left. away. Doesn't take off Shanks. But still, 3v3. Paint shells to push him back. JC standing with the Crispy Sheriff. One more member still on the site. That's going to be a great frag there from KZ. Down to the 2v2. This is a lot closer than anticipated, but the spike still hasn't spike. been picked up. Now it'll be picked up. Guess who's there? Bucky for Shanks. Finds the trade. Down to the 1v1. Gangsta with the range. And the thrifty round. Normally what the setup looked like in Immortals. They're fighting for this orb. Now shots are going to start to come through. Mata's traded. There's still a player there. Paranoia comes through. KZ has space to work with. Burst classic. Doesn't work. JC Staney finds the frag. But now they're going to start to hop through Hookah. The rest of Immortals need to arrive shortly. But oh, I love this. Luminosity are pulling back. LG Thief is going to be looking for the cross. Op in here. Op in sight. JMO doesn't land the shot, and they'll back away. They'll reset, and we'll see how this A side hit ends up working out. There's a camera there, there's tripwires there, and there's Gangsta, who proved to be a thorn in the side of Illuminosity last round. Here we go, folks. Illuminosity 
Not very many options left here on the attacking side. The blast is going to come through. Kanks is going to be pushed back through U-Haul. He's going to have to retreat to safer space. The Stellar is able to get one. The op out of JMO keeps Luminosity back. Thief drops. The Proto has managed to get a, a good bit of real estate through U-Haul, and the spike is going to go down at the hands spike of Stellar. Luminosity don't have as much personnel. If they can get a kill, you can use the Neural Theft to give away all of the post plants or oh yeah really all the positioning uh from immortals but that's much easier said than done immortals still trying to hold things at base tellers able to get one jc standing with three on the round a proto oh. tries to hold on tries to stand strong but it doesn't help that the pistol was lost but they have another shot at redemption here yeah it does not look like luminosity bought up or forced anything i saw a sheriff uh, in the hands of a couple of members, but it looks like they're going to try to hit this B site again. A couple of smokes go out. The Leer to blind things and keep things at bay. And kills are actually being traded. LG have managed to work their way on here. Immortals is going to have to fight for the retake. That's why this uh, this B hit is so fast and dirty, but we're going to see Neptune come in with the Stinger. They'll trade things out, and now it's down to the 2v2. Spike is in a tough spot. We've got Luminosity pinching from both ends. You're seeing JMO double back. A Prado is looking towards the courtyard. This is a tough spot. We have no idea how Immortals are thinking about playing this round out. They're going to try to stick together. And there's strength in, strength in numbers. A Prado slowly moving forward. There's an angle. It's spotted out by JMO and partnered up. But now left. down to Stellar, who's found himself an Ares. Somehow, some way, he'll upgrade that one off the floor. But this has already become a lot closer than Immortals would bargain for. 20 seconds left on the clock. Not a lot of time to get that spike planted in JMO with the swing. They're so far away that they really have no choice but to kind of, in a lot of ways, give up a little bit of room and potentially fight for the retake. But of course, as I say that, JC Steeny goes down. Immortals just rips wow. them to shreds. The defense holds strong. They're they get the control. And you will use this owl drone no to push up onto to the seaside. JC, Stanny, and Neptune, you got to hold the line here. And you hear the Hunter Furious can use this. KZ dashes onto the site. Neptune is out for the rest of the round. Not able to hold the line, but KZ drops at the hands of Stanny. Now the members of Immortals are starting to arrive onto the site, but they're going to get there a bit too late as the spike is going to go down. We've been waiting for this C hit, and so far, things looking good for Luminosity. 2v2 retake. Both Shanks and JMO I like the smoke towards that garage side. If they find this pick onto Stellar, that means at the flank, though, you gotta be careful. Yeah, you put the smoke down, but are you concerned oh. about this player? JMO with the 180! The Tony Hawk Ollie pop shove it right in to Luminosity. Sure there wasn't gonna be anyone on the flank. Enough info, or well, the lack of presence was enough info for them to suggest that this might be okay. There was nobody coming around. You see the smokes go off to heaven, but JMO's down low. As he takes care of KZ, he's gonna get paranoid, but uses the blade storm, goes up just a bit. But Seller's able to pull him back down. Oh, Daisy Scanny up from oh. heaven, drops to his death as well, as Immortals are starting to fall apart. Simo, there's just one left, and it's Neptune. I don't know that he has a play here. I was asking for your defense early on. Now I'm hit that site a couple of times, but it looks like they're definitely going to want to go to A here. You see the old has been used. He pops up, gets some info, realizes there's no one up in heaven, and backs off. But Immortals, oh my gosh, they mow Luminosity down yet again. There's just one left on the side of them. It's Stellar. He's going to draw A since. Uh, but I like how they've been moving those two players around. It keeps Luminosity on their toes. They don't know what's safe. And if it's not them, it's JC Scanny. This time in Garage, Neptune's there with the Sucker Punch as well. They've just been impenetrable exactly on the defending are. side, ladies and gentlemen. The Neural Theft is going to give away everything as well. All of the information, no element of surprise for Luminosity. Immortals have them exactly where they want them. A yeah, great cover there from Neptune and JC Stanny. That's why I had highlighted at the beginning that their defense on the C side is just so great. Communication. The way that they left. work together. Luminosity just C hit, which we to be fair, we haven't seen a lot of the C hit. They always end up at A. Somehow, some way. Yeah. Um oh, yeah. and now it's gonna be the B side this time. Paranoia right side, clearing that a potential angle from JMO. Let's see where they get this spike down. That's the most interesting thing. It's a very interesting spot. They're not gonna play for courtyard. They're gonna play for sight. Let's see if this works out for LG. 
as Stellar has taken this back on area a number of different times, but he's just not going to be a factor. My goodness, Immortals can seem to do no wrong. This is a huge kill if Luminosity is able to get him. They've got some room, but no, Shanks is able to get the best of Thief as that Reyna on Reyna goes in favor of Immortals. Shanks has got to help him with this angle here. Shanks now in the Cubby 50. The rest of Immortals need to start to rotate over. JMO still holding that C long side. It could be the fake, but it doesn't feel like Luminosity have ever sold a fake. When they want to hit the A site, they do. Now the members are starting to file in. A Proto's leading the charge. Shots going to be good up to JC Standy, but it's traded away one after another. A Proto down to the 2v3. Shanks down in hell, and that's exactly where he's going to do some of that damage. JMO swinging from yellow. Immortals have played this. They've been ahead of, uh, ahead of Luminosity every step of the way. It looks like they're going to try to commit onto this site, and of course, a couple of members of Luminosity have already dropped. Shanks with the Empress goes in a bit aggressive. He's able to get one. One member left. They know where he is. Stellar is able to get that, but it's still a 1v4. Wow. Perfect is what we have to ask for from Luminosity, but Immortals have been playing nearly perfect on the opposite side. Hedwig used to clear out the push. A Prado with a crispy headshot. He needs a couple more of those with the Sheriff. They've managed to get onto the site. Recon okay. bolt bottom from the side. Now this is working out. That's okay. Andrew back of Proto. Okay, down to one. It's JMO in a 1v3. Has the Phantom in tow. Shot's gonna be good. One more player to the right. Shot's gonna be good onto him. Down to the last player. But KZ keeps Luminosity alive. Jeez, and JMO almost did it, <laughs> right? He isolated that down to a 1v1 at the very end and almost pulls that off a 23-3 and performance. He's been out of control this entire map, but for LG, they needed that one, and they did so with Sheriffs and a little bit of a mix, a little bit of a mixed bag otherwise. Now, Immortals is going to have nothing but pistols to work with. LG is going to be able to come into this round from a position of power. Rifles, and the one exception being stellar uh, with the Spectre across the board. They've got a good bit of utility hanging out over towards C, but JMO and the rest of Immortals are pushing right in to the defenses oh. of Luminosity on the A side. JMO not able to connect onto one quite yet with the Blade Storm, but they're gonna continue to funnel their way in. You see the paranoia comes through. Oh my not gonna goodness. connect onto anyone. It's, oh my gosh, Immortals! Oh. Immortals goes up close and personal. JMO with the Blade Storm dropping down to a Proto. You've gotta do it. A defense of the Alamo type effort is going to be required here to keep the map alive, to keep your tournament hopes alive. He's able to get one as he drops Shanks, but he's taken so much damage already, just down to 46 health. They know exactly where he is. This is really uh, an impossible ask. He's going to drop, ladies and gentlemen, a statement made 